I love working with codependents. They are wonderful people who are accepting and forgiving of everyone except themselves. This contrasts between how kindly they treat others while being so hard on themselves causes much pain for codependents who come into therapy depressed, anxious, and stressed out without understanding why. Then when I explain that it's the result of feeling over-responsible for others while not taking care of themselves, I see their eyes grow big as the truth of what they've been doing sinks in. That's when I explain that being a codependent is not all bad. In fact, growing up as a codependent offers some gifts. So let me be clear. The majority of my clients suffer from anxiety and depression because of their codependency, so they must make changes to live a healthier life. In recovery, codependents learn to overcome their shame and fear so they can improve self-care, especially in relationships. However, not everything codependents learn growing up in dysfunction is bad. They also learn some valuable skills from years of people-pleasing and being highly sensitive to the needs of others, which should not be condemned, but rather cherished and refined in recovery. So what are these gifts that codependents should take with them into recovery? Gift number one, caring and kind. Codependents are some of the kindest, most caring people you'll ever meet. They are giving and love to help others. The center of their world has always been relationships, so they have a lot of love to offer. What has been lacking, though, is self-love and self-care. In recovery, codependents learn to value their own needs and feelings. They also learn to keep the focus on their recovery and let others do the same. In other words, they learn to take care of themselves and be supportive of others without taking responsibility for their problems. Gift number two perceptive of others. Codependents are masters at reading the moods and needs of others. After all, they spent their entire childhood doing just that, because they believed they had to be what others wanted them to be in order to obtain the love and approval they so desperately sought. However, in order to do this, they had to ignore their own needs and feelings, which they considered to be bad or a burden to others. So in recovery, codependents learn to be perceptive and respectful of their own needs and feelings. They also learn that healthy relationships are obtained through negotiation rather than through compulsive people-pleasing. Gift number three, empathic. Codependents have great empathy for the pain of others and are driven to try to relieve their suffering. They are generous, giving, and love to offer a helping hand. However, their generosity often leads to being taken advantage of because they're people pleasers who can't say no. So in recovery, codependents learn to give themselves the same empathy and respect that they give others so they can develop a healthy balance between taking care of themselves and being supportive of others. They also learn to receive support from others. Gift number four, non-judgmental. As mentioned before, codependents are accepting and non-judgmental of the imperfections of others. However, they also have a high tolerance for inappropriate behavior and are very hard on themselves. So if someone treats them badly instead of holding that other person accountable, they blame themselves. So in recovery, codependents learn to value their own well-being by setting firm boundaries with people who seek to abuse, manipulate, or take advantage of them. Gift number five skilled at dealing with difficult people, which makes sense because codependents had lots of practice growing up with dysfunctional people. Sadly, however, codependents are also drawn to dysfunctional people because they believe the only way to get love is to rescue and fix others. And since healthy people don't need rescuing or fixing, dysfunctional people are what's left. So in recovery, codependents learn to value themselves by understanding and believing they are worthy of being loved for their true selves. In other words, they need to stop trying to make emotionally unavailable people love them and instead search for people who already know how to love. Okay, so those are the five gifts. Now think about them. Caring and kind, perceptive of others, empathic, non-judgmental, and skilled at dealing with difficult people. These are valuable skills and traits to possess. And when a recovering codependent adds healthy self-care skills to these five gifts, well, it's a powerful combination. And to reinforce that point, 
I have observed that recovering codependents make some of the best therapists, nurses, teachers, and other professionals in the helping professions. They also make excellent supervisors and managers. And let's not forget that recovering codependents are excellent friends, parents, spouses, family members, and citizens. So I hope you're able to recognize that even though your codependency has caused you a lot of pain, it has also brought you some gifts that make you the wonderful person you are today. If you'd like help improving your self-care skills so you can harness your full potential, then visit my website, serenityonlinetherapy.com, to learn more about the online services I provide. If you like this video, please click the thumbs up button, and then subscribe to my channel to hear more from me. And finally, keep paying attention to your life. Until next time.